Hey, what's going on guys? It's Widow. Welcome back to another video and today I've got some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay for you guys. I'm so, so, so excited to finally be able to play this game. I've been waiting for months ever since I played the beta and got a feel for this game. And let me tell you guys right now, off the bat, this game is so fun. It's actually a pretty smooth launch. The only problems that me and my friends have been encountering is some slight connection issues. I think that would just had to do with the amount of people trying to connect to this game because like I said, this is actually one of the more popular games, the Black Ops series. And uh, this game got hyped pretty hard. There was a lot, a lot of people that were trying to get on last night. And uh, I think that was probably the reason why. But other than that, this game's actually going really, really smooth. We've been having a lot of fun with it. So I wanted to give you guys my first impressions on this game so far. And give you guys my first thoughts of everything that I'm going through so far. So, I mean, I've been playing this game for literally 10 hours straight. And uh, I got some sleep later on. I, I could have stayed up for like 24 hours. But I figured I'd get some sleep so I could focus more. <clears throat> if you try playing when you're too tired and sleep deprived... It ends up just being a really bad day. But anyway, I got some sleep. I'm going to hop on after this video. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts. So, jumping into that, I think the first thing that I noticed about this game was the maps. And how crazy different they are. And uh, this map was a perfect example to show you guys. Uh, I end up going like 61 and 10 in this game. And it's actually really, really sick. Because this map is probably half the reason why I was doing so good. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if you can see it too much because I wasn't focused on it when I was playing this game. But if you look around the sides of the map, you'll see there's like buildings on the walls. Like everything's like upside down. And it's like kind of like an Inception type thing if you've ever seen the movie Inception. Uh, this map is like floating in the air and there's just stuff everywhere. It just looks really cool. And a lot of these maps are kind of like that. They're like, uh, it's like you're in a dream type thing. And I guess Black Ops is kind of going off of that perception of like, all of this is supposed to be like a memory or something like that. And it's just kind of cool how these maps lay out. And uh, they're all like three lane map styles. Game. You know, it's not like Advanced Warfare where there's just like a, a bunch of tunnels under you and over you and just all this crazy stuff. There's like three lane maps. You got the right, the left, and the middle. And it honestly just makes for really nice flowing maps. Most of these maps are pretty good. There were a few maps, and I forgot the name of it, but we played it one time, and we, me and my friends just left. It was, it was literally that bad. There was just... We kept falling off the ledges. It was terrible, and uh, a few of those maps were actually really, really bad. Uh, we didn't like those maps at all. We backed out of those, but for the most part, most of these maps are actually pretty nice. They, they flow pretty smooth, and uh, we like them a lot. So, uh, definitely, definitely like the maps so far. Now, the next thing is the guns, and... From the beta compared to now, the guns have changed. And when I say changed, I don't just mean the weapons themselves, I mean the names of the guns. I think two names I remember. I think the AK used to be called the ARC-44, now it's like the, the KN-44. I don't know why they changed the names. But other than that, uh, the thing I've noticed is some of the weapon damages are a lot, a lot different than they were in the beta. Uh, weapons like the CUDA that weren't actually that good in the beta are now one of the top machine guns, or submachine guns. That's the gun I'm using right now in this game is the CUDA SMG. And in the beta, it wasn't even that good, but now it's actually one of the better SMGs compared to, to the ones you get off the start. The Razorback was actually one in the beta that everyone loved to use, but now it's actually the last one you unlock at level 49. And uh, I think that's because it's going to be a monster when you unlock it, but uh, the weapons are pretty sick, honestly. If you're going to play this game, I would totally recommend not running a secondary. I would use as many wild cards as you can to run primary gunfighter, which allows you to put more attachments onto your weapon. That's what I do when I get the chance. I try to run as many attachments as I can. So that way my gun is fully equipped to take out multiple people. Now the one thing that I have been having a problem with in this game, and I don't know if it... I don't know if it's just me or not, but I feel like the health is kind of too high in this game. Uh, in the beta, it didn't feel like this, but it might just be me. But I feel like I'm getting into situations in this game where the bullets are just taking a way too long to kill somebody. I mean, each gun gets about 30 rounds in a clip. And the problem I'm having is if I run into more than two people, I'm dead because I feel like it takes like six bullets to kill somebody sometimes. It's pretty crazy. I don't know if it's just me. Uh, I do personally right now think the health is a little too high. I think it should be toned down just a bit because at this point, you're kind of just spraying extra bullets. You shouldn't have to be spraying at somebody just to kill them. And by the time you kill them, you have to reload and there's more people. And it's just, that's just me. I don't know if that's, if anyone else is having that problem. If you guys are playing the game and you're, you're kind of feeling that too, leave a comment down below. I really actually am interested to see what you guys think about that. But other than those two things, I really am enjoying this game. Uh, like I said, the gun balance and the health, I feel like is kind of not there right now. I feel like that's kind of unbalanced. I'm hoping the next few days they tweak it because I, I do feel like this game has a little bit of unbalanced issues right now in terms of like kill time and and uh, weapon damage stuff like that. But that could just be me. I, I that could just be me. But other than that, I'm having a ton of fun with this game. The kill streaks 
Killstreaks are amazing, but I think one thing that they did do is they made them harder to get. Uh, in the beta, I think a UAV was like 3 kills, something like that. But in here, a UAV is 5 kills, and that's actually not too hard, but like I said, coming into a new game that we have played in the beta, but the, I'm telling you, the game and the beta are totally different. Uh, I wasn't doing as good as I did in the beta right off the start. The first few hours of playing this game, I was actually not doing that good at all. Uh, I mean, I was doing decent, but I came into this game thinking I was going to absolutely wreck people, and I totally, totally overestimated myself there because... um. I got my ass handed to me a few times. It took a took a few hours to catch on, on how to get back into the flow of this game, uh, but once I did, it was pretty nice. The special abilities are pretty cool. Like I said in the beta gameplays I uploaded a couple months ago, I do like the special abilities, but I feel like some of them are just you know they just shouldn't be in the game. Uh, the gravity spikes, they're kind of like the Titan Slam from Destiny. I just feel like that shouldn't be in the game because I'm gonna tell you right now, and I, I can I'm already gonna call this. That is going to be the most annoying specialist uh, perk in this entire game because honestly, me and my friends already got multied like three times by that thing. And actually, on this map, I think it was two games before I played this one, we literally spawned and this dude just panicked, pressed the buttons, and just killed like four or five of us. Like, it was crazy. And even though it doesn't happen all the time, that's just an unnecessary death. I feel like that things like that shouldn't be in the game because the odds of you being able to stop that guy while he's in the air is just slim to none. I do like, however, some of the specialist abilities, like the one I'm using now with the character Seraph is like a bonus thing, where if I use it I get extra points towards my killstreaks. Things like that that aren't super lethal, but they're helping you get your killstreaks or stuff like that. I don't mind those things, but things like gravity spikes and things that make it so that way you, you get free kills pretty much, I mean, because that, I mean, that's crazy, the, the range that that gravity spike thing has when it hits the ground is nuts. It's absolutely crazy. But anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below, tell me if you guys have been playing Black Ops 3, if you guys are enjoying it. I am so enjoying this game right now, I cannot wait to share more videos with you guys. I'm loving it a lot, I was struggling at first, but if you're struggling, definitely, definitely keep trying. Oh, and one big tip I can give you, sensitivity. Make sure your sensitivity is on a sensitivity you're comfortable with. That is like 90% of your gameplay right there. If you can get your accuracy down, you'll be good. But anyway guys, thank you guys very much for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for stopping by.